Hi, I'm Claude from Wilderness Skills. Welcome to this week's review. This week's review will be on uh, the Hazard 4 Messenger of Doom. Let me just give you a quick overview of the data of the bag. The size is uh, 45 centimeters in uh, width. 32 centimeters in height and about 14 centimeters in uh, depth. The material is uh, 1000 denier Kodura nylon and uh, you can get it in either black or coyote like this. The weight empty is 1.56 kilograms. I've been using this bag for more than uh, 12 months um, and uh, I've been switching between uh, this and the uh, Tasmanian Tiger document bag. I must say that I've used this for about six months uh, uh, on a trip I made uh, exclusively, only this one, uh, in temperatures up to 45 degrees uh, centigrade. So uh, let me just show you the loadout that I'm normally carrying uh, when I'm uh, using this bag. Before uh, opening the lid, I'll just show you that you can actually access uh, the main compartment uh, from uh, this uh, zipper area here. I had some problems in accessing my computer compartment uh, via this uh, opening here. And I would also like to mention the, uh, the pocket here on the front. Normally I have ID and uh, keys and stuff here and uh, maybe small snacks. Really, really nice that uh, you have this uh, quick access pocket here. Looking here on the front of the bag, you have uh, pouch webbing, both uh, with the single distance but also with a double distance. And you have an area here with the Velcro where you can place either name tags or a small bag here with the Velcro backing. Looking down here in the admin area, I normally have a small map or something in here. And then I'm also using all the, the small pockets here on the front for pens and sharpies and so on. And I also got a small flashlight from Phoenix, the LD12. Then uh, here I have a couple of highlighters, I have my uh, mobile Wi-Fi, uh, some uh, business cards, I have a small uh, notepad from Right and Rain, here I have uh, some snacks, uh, Cliff Bar, uh, Energy Gel, then I have a zippered pocket here. This is where I normally carry uh, small cables for my computers and, and stuff, uh, and I also have a, a USB stick. Behind that uh, there is uh, another pocket uh, secured by Velcro. I normally have uh, extra batteries and stuff uh, for my uh, flashlights and uh, whatever. That's the uh, admin area. Really nice and uh, easy to organize uh, stuff in. Uh, actually I need to mention these uh, two pieces of webbing here holds the lid. So uh, you can actually have the, uh, the back uh, over your chest and then you can put stuff here uh, without dropping them. Really nice feature. Let's go into the main area. It's secured by this uh, large uh, two zippered opening here. There's a small piece of Velcro where you can attach to here. And then you can either stuff it in here or you can just uh, let it hang outside. So you don't have this large piece hanging, but uh, it is uh, quite small uh, when you put these two pieces together. Inside the back, I have my working laptop, 15 inch. I have my charger for that one. I have my notebook and another book uh, with a lot of uh, checklists in. Then uh, here in the uh, two pocket area here, I have a uh, book and uh, another notebook. Looking uh, inside the bag in the main area, you see there are two pockets here. In uh, this one over here, I have normally my uh, external hard drive and the cable for that one. And in the other one, 
I have a power bank, this is the route power, and also the charging cable for that one. Then we're ending up here in the last area, which is the laptop compartment. Really, really well padded. Uh, I have my 13-inch uh, MacBook uh, and my charger for that one inside here. Almost whatever you have inside this area, it is so well protected due to the to the big uh, piece of uh, padding in, uh, on both sides. A really, really nice uh, feature. As I told you in the beginning, I've been using this exclusively for about six months uh, while I was uh, on some traveling. Um, the only wear and tear that I could spot on the back was over here, where the, uh, the shoulder strap is connected to the back in this area here. Some of the paint has been scraped off. And then also here on the, uh, on the shoulder strap itself, um, you can see there are some uh, wear and tear here on, the, on this. And I actually know why this uh, is uh, a little bit uh, well-worn. Um, when I was uh, walking to and from my work every day, um, I was carrying this uh, on my shoulder and I had some metal which were scraping on this area the whole time while I was walking. So um, that's why this uh, piece of uh, webbing here is a little bit worn. But it's not much and uh, I'm really impressed of the, uh, of the quality of the bag all over. If I'm going to share my experiences uh, during uh, the last 12 months using this bag, well, looking at some of the cons, um, one of the first one that I noticed was, was that I couldn't access my laptop compartment through this uh, zippered area here on the lid. Um, and then sometimes the, uh, the locks here, uh, or the, the buckles here, they have a small lock, so you can secure them. Sometimes they, they locked up on themselves. Uh, it's a small detail, but you know, if, if you're going to open and close this uh, a lot of times during the day, and half of the times one of them is locked, you know, it just starts to get annoying. Um, also, um, during rain, water leaks into this. As you can probably see, um, I had some uh, slight rain uh, here in the beginning, uh, and you can actually see it here on the outside that it's like the, the whipping uh, or the nylon is actually like sucking in the, the, the moisture. You can also see this on this uh, small clip uh, even, uh, even more clearly. The Hazard 4 Mission of Doom has been outside in the rain for about half an hour and it was only light rain. As you can see on the front, um, some rain has penetrated uh, both on the front side here and uh, at the zipper. And the same goes for the top. Not that much penetration here on the back side or in the bottom. As you can see on one of the webbing straps, uh, some water has penetrated that one. Let's look in the small pockets here on the on the lid. Here you can really see the water has penetrated inside the pocket. And opening the lid, it is quite clear that on the back side of the pocket, uh, water has penetrated all over. Looking inside the computer compartment, the padded area, it is uh, damp to the feel. So water has definitely also penetrated this area. Looking here on the main pocket, you can see the area where water has penetrated both in the back and the front opening. Opening up um, close to the small pockets in each side. Water has also penetrated down uh, towards the bottom. The inside uh, feels uh, dry to the touch, but uh, 
up here again water has penetrated down uh, towards the pulse webbing opening up for the admin area doesn't feel damp or anything uh, no water has penetrated and that's highly likely due to the plastic uh, on the uh, on the front one of the uh, cons uh, that I also noticed was if I chose to remove the lid here, and I sometimes did, uh, it's pretty pretty easy to do that. Then I had the two big buckles down here hanging uh, loosely. Um, you can remove them completely also here in the bottom. It takes some time uh, and, and you have to sit here and fiddle a little bit around to, to do it, but it's possible. But uh, I think that Hazard 4 could have made this a little bit more easy to remove these. Or have something uh, where you can store them uh, so they're out of sight. That was the uh, cons uh, regarding the, the back here. Some of the pros, and there's a lot of them. Um, the bag is really roomy, as you can see. Um, really easy to access, the main compartment here. Um, and you can stuff a lot of things inside here. It's also really easy to take off the lid. You have uh, three pieces of snaps here, uh, and uh, some Velcro, and you just open them and then rip the, the lid off here. Really easy, and also easy to put it back on. You have a really, really well padded laptop area. So almost uh, no matter what kind of electronics you put in here, it is really well protected. Then uh, inside the main area, you also have uh, pals webbing, uh, both uh, singles stacked and also doubled. And there's also an area with uh, Velcro. So if you have a bag with the Velcro backing, you can just place it in here. Really nice uh, feature to uh, be able to place a lot of different uh, types of bags in the inside here. Uh, staying here on the pulse, you also have pulse uh, webbing here on the front. Again, both with the single spacing and also double spacing. And the same goes here from the side. And I really like the, the fact that you have a double spacing. For example, if you have like a camera bag like this, um, which has a wider uh, flap here or uh, not like uh, molly compatible then you can still place it here on the side of the bag or in the front of the bag like this really nice feature and then I really like the durability and the toughness of the bag um, it is really tough uh, material it's made of and as I told you before um, I can see really, really little uh, wear and tear on them. I also like uh, that on uh, most of the zippers you have this small uh, rubber thing, uh, small rubber handle, so it's really easy to take a grab of the of the zippers. And the uh, zippers are also dimensioned to its functions, um, especially the one here in the laptop compartment. They have inverted the zippers and covered them with a rubber coating. Uh, to prevent water in entering the compartment and that is actually necessary I'm sorry to say that if I'm gonna give this back a grading where I compare price to quality well I've been able to find this back online on US stores for about 140 US dollars and I think that is really cheap for a bag of this uh, quality um, I'll give it a solid 8 what brings a grading down is of course water 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 um, it's really easy for the water to creep into this bag here and there is no uh, watertight or waterproof membrane inside the bag so uh, you could actually uh, potentially damage uh, some of the uh, electronics or maybe some of the important papers that you have inside here if you're out in an area where there's a lot of rain if you're in an area where there's only dry uh, no no rain then there's no problem then it's a phenomenal bag but be aware of this uh, if you're using the bag uh, during uh, the rainy season um, water will just creep into it and then also the uh, fact that the uh, boggles down here they sometimes lock up on themselves um, a little bit annoying I know it's a detail but uh, still needs to be mentioned if I'm gonna give the uh, bag a grading on the usability I would give it a solid 8 the things that uh, brings a grading down is the fact that I cannot access all my uh, areas here through this uh, zipper here on the top I cannot access my uh, laptop compartment uh, and pull out my laptop. Also the fact that there is no uh, shoulder pad. In 2012 uh, Hazard 4 stopped uh, supplying the shoulder pads with the bag. They actually also uh, 
delivered a uh, waist strap uh, when you bought the bag, uh, but they stopped doing that in 2012. And I think it's, uh, well, it's maybe not a must, but it is a good thing that, uh, that you have a shoulder pad for a bag of this size, uh, because you can put a lot of stuff in, uh, inside it. And then uh, the last thing uh, that brings a grading down on the usability is water. Uh, the fact that water can creep into the bag when it's raining um, is just something that you need to be aware of, uh, especially if you have uh, expensive electronics or important papers in here. Uh, so be aware of that if you are in a wet area. This doesn't mean that I cannot recommend the bag to you. I can easily recommend it. Um, the problem with the water, I think that's universal with all these uh, types of bags made out of uh, Kodura. Uh, if they don't have a waterproof or watertight barrier inside, water will just creep in uh, through the nylon. Uh, even if you have the uh, inverted zippers and everything. Uh, so that's just a thing that you need to be aware of. So uh, no problems in recommending this. I really like uh, using it because it uh, can hold a lot of stuff and you can just throw in, uh, even when the thing is totally full, you can always squeeze in uh, something extra. My uh, next video will be on this uh, knife sharpener from uh, Lansky, it's the Blade Medic. So if you want to see that and my coming videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.